Hey, the pool party start today at five six o'clock. If you already got the address, pull up, man. We got the address, pull up. If you need the address, them you right now. The pool party start at five six o'clock. We just got her, bro. You got to add it. You got to add it, man. Push up. We came deep as fuck for my birthday, man. Everybody talking about this spell. Yeah. All right, so look, man. Quick video. Here. You know what? Actually, this might not be a quick video. I'm extremely intrigued by this topic. I can't even lie. Now, Fulio, this dude's something else, right? Rest in peace to him, but this dude is something else. Now, I've been talking about Fulio on my channel every now and then for like the last uh, four or five years or so. Very familiar with the guy's music. Not the biggest fan of the content he raps about, but I always do admit, the guy can rap. If he just chose to make different type of music other than shoot him up, bang, bang, this guy could have been big. But anywho, y'all know I love me a good scary movie. Boy, horror my favorite genre. Boy, I done probably seen every horror movie that ever existed. All right, let me stop lying. I'm lying. I could admit when I'm lying, but I do watch a lot of horror movies. And that's exactly what this dude, Fulio's life been reminding me of ever since his death. For the last four days, every time I open Instagram, it's like I'm in a horror movie. Man, this dude dead, and he been commenting in people comments for the last four days. All in Young and Ace comments. Dropping trash can emoji. Like, fam, where the hell you get the hold of an iPhone at? They got service down there? I ain't even know that. This dude trolling from the afterlife. Even Young and Ace couldn't believe it. He replied to the comment, You still effing with me, dude? I love you forever. That's what he wrote back to Fulio. But again, Fulio is dead. This is insane, fam. This dude still posting paid promotion videos to his Instagram. Or his fans confused as hell right now. Is you dead or not? Now I know I'm joking around with y'all here, but and I hate to break the news to y'all, but calm down, relax. He's dead, as far as I know, right? He not faking his death like Tupac. He didn't come back from the afterlife. They didn't send him a cell phone to hell. More than likely, this is either his management, his family, or his girlfriend. They're posting from his account. But I must admit, man, every time I see a post from this guy, I get creeped out. Like I know he's dead, but it's just strange. And then today they posted a video, he had a DJ Smalls interview, and he was asked what, what do he want to be remembered as if he died. So it's just like real creepy, the type of stuff they're posting on his account right now. That makes fans speculate even more that he's maybe alive. But again, I'm 99.99999% positive he's not alive. Now I could be wrong, so I left a 0.0001% for that reason. But yeah, man, I've never seen nothing like this. I mean, they even got his account clicking like on a Say Cheese post. Dropping heart emojis and Say Cheese post. Like, this is next level right here. And uh, this is what I try to warn Young and Ace about yesterday in the video that I made about him. Because I gave him props because his second diss song, Game Over, it was a lot better than his first diss song, Do It. But at the same time, he gotta understand just because this guy's dead doesn't mean that the game is quote unquote over. Us as music fans, we don't care about that stuff y'all had going on in the streets, man. We here for the music. And unfortunately for you, this guy had a lot of fans. So as long as he has unreleased music, this game is far from over, fam. You just got like 2 million views in one day on your new diss song. Imagine what Fulio would get if they drop an unreleased diss song that he got dissing you. Like they can really make Young and Ace look crazy right now. Have him dissing a dead man.
because he's definitely going to get more views than Young and Ace if they drop a uh, Fulio song right now. No disrespect to Young and Ace, but that's the reason he's getting all of these views. It's because of Fulio. He just recently died, so the spotlight is on him. And just to back up my logic here, even if you go to Fulio's page right now, there's a brand new highlight post on his Instagram page. It was literally just made like about an hour ago. And the name of this highlight is Game On. Now, Young and Ace's diss song, <laughs> it was called Game Over. And now this highlight on uh, Fulio's Instagram just magically appeared and it says game on. So again, Young and Ace better prep up for war because it doesn't seem like this is over. And I don't mean on the street level, I mean on the music level. Fulio team know he got some stuff in the cut that's about to destroy Young and Ace. And they letting Young and Ace know, okay, you said the game was over, but guess what? The game right back on. Man, they don't revive this dude. This is crazy. What's that girl name on Apex? The one that be healing everybody? Lifeline. Boy, Lifeline and drop the care package and put this dude right back in the game. Young and Ace, whether you like it or not, man, you're in a rap beef with a dead person right now. And this is why it's important to read the Art of War. The dude was gone, man. You should have just let them be. But you started dissing, and now everybody in the world is anticipating for Fulio's team to drop any music at all. And boy, don't let it be dissing you. That's the thing about uh, mixing street beef with rap beef, man. This is not the streets. Once that person is dead, that doesn't mean the game is over. As long as this dude has unreleased music, Young and Ace, you are competing with a dead man. This is your entire career now. That's why I never understood when uh, rappers have beef with other rappers, and then once they die, they start celebrating. Ooh, they dead, let me celebrate. Fam, that's your career that died. The only reason people was listening to you as much is because you and this guy was going back and forth with each other. If this guy's not allowed to go back and forth with you anymore, you guessed it. People gonna start showing less interest over time in your music. Same thing happened out in Dallas. Mo3, long live Mo3, he better than y'all. Boy, they was dissing the hell out of Mo3 when he first died. Who got the traffic stop, dude? They ran down, his pants down. Man, shut up. And it was getting views. Well, at first, just like Young and Ace right now. But over time, man, People stop caring about that. If the other side is not alive to go back and forth with you anymore, I mean, nobody's just gonna really care about you anymore. I mean, that's the reason why most of us in the world know about y'all, all right? You dropped uh, Who I Smoke, and then he dropped When I See You. And voila, everybody knew about the beef in Jacksonville, Florida. Y'all attached to each other forever. This not like uh, Lil Dirt and uh, FBG Duck. Y'all on the same level, fam. Neither one of y'all little dirt level. So it's an even playing field. And fans, fans gonna be fans. They gonna choose sides. And once that rapper dies that you was beefing with, people gonna go over there, or people gonna stay over here with you. So you divided your whole fan base up. So yeah, you killed them on the street level. But don't get too cocky, man, because trust me, for the last four years, I've watched a dead man embarrass everybody in Dallas, Texas. Doesn't matter that he's dead, nobody cares at all, right? Mo3 died broad daylight, but just like Young and Ace, Mo3 ops thought, hey, game over. And look at him now, over there struggling, dropping double floppers with cheese. Because at the end of the day, once this rapper is gone, all we gotta judge them by is the music. So musically, are you better than this person? If not, I hate to burst your bubble, man, but we really don't care. Congratulations that the dude is dead, but he still makes better music. So this is an interesting spot to be in. 
and now I'd like to see what Fulio team take it from here. God forbid if he got an unreleased music video. Boy, people about to look like they seen a ghost. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram, TZFBaby252. Man, what rainwater, hey, rainwater. You should have let me run Mo3 account. Boy, I would have had the whole world thinking Mo3 was still alive. Boy, I would have had Mo3 ops ready to check into a mental asylum, thinking they went crazy. Now, I know I seen this dude die right here on this freeway. Yeah, nigga. I'm back. Now, 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 now where your backup, Nelson? But I'm gone. Prolific. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry.